This is how to use ACP to get literally any agent to talk to one another. MCP has been taking the LLM world by storm as of late, but fair enough. It provides a seamless way to connect agents to just about any tool. But what happens if those tools can't be exposed? And what if there's already agents that are well scoped out using those tools? Why would we go to the effort of reconnecting? Could we not just use the agents and build on top of that instead of building our own? This is where ACP comes in. It provides a universal protocol to get agents to talk to each other. I'm gonna give you a crash course in just eight minutes. But can it work with any agent? And is it a massive pain to add it to your old agents? And is it secure? I'm gonna break it down in three steps. And it begins with phase one, wrapping an agent with ACP. Right, so let's start out with a hypothetical RAG agent. In this particular case, I'm going to be using Crew AI Quen 2.5B using Olama. So this particular agent allows me to go and search through hospital benefits from a PDF. The specific role that we're going to be assigning it is a senior insurance coverage agent and it's gonna be able to answer questions specifically around waiting periods. If I ask a question like, what is the waiting period for rehabilitation and then run it? I get back a pretty good answer. It said two months of continuous cover, which also matches the PDF source. How do I make this ACP compliant though? I can import dependencies from the ACP SDK. The most important one is the server. I'm gonna create a new instance of the server and wrap my agent in a similar manner as to how I might create an MCP tool. There are differences though. I'll come back to this after we get the server up and running. The name of the function, in this case, policy agent, as well as the doc string that I'm writing right now will help form metadata for this agent. I'll show that a little later. I can then change change the task that I pass through to Crew AI to the specific input from the ACP server endpoint. Convert the Crew AI kickoff to asynchronous and then return a generator. And then we're gonna kick it off running on port 8001. Now, if I go and start the server by running uv run hospital rag .py, you can now see the endpoint running here. All right, how do I actually use this though? ACP ships with its own client. I'd imagine this will change a little bit later on with the introduction of new clients, but for now, well, let's build one. I'm gonna create a new file called client.py. I'll import the client SDK and then set up an asynchronous function called run hospital workflow. Here, I'll connect to the client and then I'll pass through the same prompt. What is the waiting period for rehabilitation? And then run it. If I run UV run client, and then bring up the server, you can see that we've actually gone and kicked off the agent via the ACP server. And once this is completed, you can see that we've got our two month waiting period back again. We're gonna do this with more agents, but before we go any further, I wanna give you the ACP 411. ACP was released in March, 2025 by IBM Research. It provides a vendor and agent agnostic framework that uses REST to get agents to talk to each other. This means you can build a bunch of agents, deploy them on an ACP server and users can hit them from wherever, using whatever. I think the biggest thing here is it's gonna make it easier for people to connect agents between teams, but also organizations. So if I'm an insurer, I can get my agents to talk to hospital agents, or if I'm a bank, I can get my agents to talk to card processing agents. It's also production grade. It's compatible with Kubernetes, there's telemetry and support for identity federation, plus it's managed by the Linux Foundation. So we've wrapped our RAG agent using Crew AI. Big deal. What if we wanted to use more than one agent? This brings me to step two, chaining agents. Now I'm gonna go and rename that server because uh, I was a little tired when I was writing that code. So it's actually an insurance ACP server now, not necessarily hospital rag. And then I'm going to create a hospital ACP server and this will form our second agent, which is actually gonna be running using the small agents framework. I'm gonna bring in the standard ACP SDK dependencies, but now I'm also gonna bring some stuff in from small agents, specifically the code agent, DuckDuckGo search tool, light LLM model and the visit webpage tool. Then let's create another server. And this time it is going to be using the light LLM model. And again, I'm gonna be using Olama chat, Quen 2.5B, or Quen 2.5 14B, which is going to be running at the standard endpoint with a fake API key and a context size of 8,192. We'll then create our next agent. This one's gonna be a health agent. Again, it's gonna take in the standard input and context templates and return an asynchronous generator. Then we're gonna define our doc string. So here it's going to be, this is a code agent which supports the hospital ha handle health-based questions for patients. Current or prospective patients can use it to find answers about their health and hospital treatments. And then this is where the secondary agent comes in. So we're actually using small agents here, which shows that ACP is able to work with different types of agents. We're gonna unpack the prompt that we get by the default ACP endpoint and then run our agent and return our generator. And then again, we're gonna be running our server, but we're gonna be using the standard port, which is going to be port 8000 this time. 
Take a breath and on we go. We're gonna restart our servers because remember we renamed the file. So we're now gonna start up the insurance ACP server and the hospital ACP server using UV run. And you can see our hospital ACP server is running on port 8000. Now, if we wanted to chain these together, I can add in a new client, which is pointing to port 8000 and then copy over the existing client run that we did previously. This time, first up, we're gonna pass, do I need rehabilitation after shoulder reconstruction? And that context is going to be passed through to our insurance ACP server. Seeing as I copied the client runs, I just need to make sure that they point to the right clients with the first one pointing to the hospital, the second one pointing to the insurer. Then if we go on ahead and run it, so you can see I've got the insurance server on the left, the hospital server in the middle, and you can see that it's already passed through that first call. It's kicked off our code agent. Hopefully we get a response back. Take a look, according to various sources, rehab is essential. And we've now got our second response, which has now gone and passed through the context and returned two months as the waiting period. Now we've chained our agents, but Really, it's just two calls. What if we could use a router to help automatically negotiate which agent to call? This brings me to step three, Nick's prototype ACP calling agent. Right, so we're gonna use my prototype ACP calling agent. This is gonna allow us to automatically discover our ACP agents and call them in. So I'm gonna bring in from Fast ACP my agent collection and the ACP calling agent. So let's go on ahead and create a new light LLM model. So this is going to be the supervisory agent that helps us use the ACP calling agent. Now we're gonna go on ahead and delete everything that we wrote from our chained agents and begin creating our own ACP calling agent. That's gonna start out with creating an agent collection. We're gonna be able to discover the agents from the insurer and the hospital ACP server. We'll then store that inside of a dictionary called ACP agents, as you can see here. And inside that we'll store the agent as well as the client so we can call out to it. Then I'm gonna go on ahead and create a new ACP calling agent. This is gonna take in my existing ACP agents as well as our supervisory LLM model then I can pass through a prompt. In this case, do I need rehabilitation after shoulder reconstruction? And what is the waiting period for my insurance? So this is a concatenated prompt that should hopefully be able to navigate and traverse the different ACP servers that we've got available. Now, if we go on ahead and run it with extremely large font size, you should see that on the far right, I've got my client calling out which is automatically calling out to the hospital ACP server in the middle. It's gone and asked, do I need rehabilitation after a shoulder reconstruction? And now it's all gone and triggered the insurance server as well. So hopefully we should get a full response to our initial prompt. And take a look. We've got a response that accurately answers our complete prompt that we passed through to our ACP calling agent. And that in a nutshell shows what's possible with ACP.